Welcome to his basketball court. Sorry guys, quick break from the video. I forgot to mention this, but in this video we are doing form shooting. Form shooting starts from your feet. You want to have a good wide base, and I recommend having one foot in front of the other. So if you shoot with your right hand, have your right foot in front of one. If you shoot with your left, have your left foot in front of it, in front of the other. Now, with your feet, you want to have a wide base, but you don't want to be ridiculous. You want to have it shoulder width apart and good enough because this is one of the most important parts of your form. Moving on to your legs, that's your power. That's what you want to use for your power. You don't want to be shooting with your arms, you want to be shooting with your legs. With your hips and your upper body, you kind of want to be facing 45 degrees. So you're not facing straight and you're not facing to the side. Your legs, one is in front of the other and your body is going the same direction as your legs. With your shoulders, don't use those as your power. Those are kind of just there with your form. They help your form, but don't use these as your power. Don't shoot from your shoulder, don't shoot from your hip. With your elbow, that's your steering wheel. You want to have that over your toe. And that's, if it's like this, if you're shooting like Lonzo, it's going to go that way. If you're shooting like this, it's going to go that way. If it's straight, it's straight on. And it's a lot easier to fix a shot going too hard or too little than side to side. So on your shot form, you want to have your elbow over your foot, the ball like this, and you're not going to be holding it like this. It's going to go a quick form. With everything above it, your head, that's just your sight. That's what you use to defer it. So when you're shooting, you want to have your base. And the first thing you do in your form is set. So set up your base. The next thing you do is kind of relax your knees, bounce them up and down, kind of bend them. Then you go lock, extend, and you always want to flick your wrist because if you flick your wrist, you get backspin. That's how Kawhi hit six bounces and it still went in. So always flick your wrist and extend your arm to the fullest. And you don't want it being like this. Don't extend your arm like this. Extend it upwards. So it's set, bend, lock, extend, flick. Now let's show you some examples. When you're at the free throw line, I recommend either pounding the ball really hard to get your stress out and your anxiety, or just spinning it to calm you down. Make sure you take a few deep breaths, look at the net, visualize it going in, and then you'll have a good shot. Let's show you some examples. drill to warm up practice or perfect your form I do a simple drill you get really close to the net and you use that perfect form I just taught you and you just shoot it straight up you try to get it in you aim for 10 in a row and when you get 10 in a row finally you take a step back when you take a step back you get 10 in a row from here and you take a step back now you're at you're at seven in a row you're so nervous and you miss it you take a step forward and you go restart from ten. One, two, and so forth. You guys get the idea? Let's show you an example. Alright, so I just scored 10 in a row, that, I just did that, I take a step back, I do it again. This drill is probably my favorite drill to do when it comes to form. The only thing is you need a hoop and you need a ball, 
you have, most people have a ball, but the hoop is hard to find. If you have it though, do this drill. It'll definitely help your form. Drill number two is probably my favorite drill to do right now because you can do it at home in quarantine. All you need is yourself, a ball, and some space. Now how you do this drill is you lay down and you just shoot the ball straight upwards. Use that form I just taught you. Make sure you're doing it right because if you're doing it wrong, it won't help you. Now I recommend doing this 100 times because 10 reps, 25 reps, 50 reps, it won't help you that much. And it only takes five minutes to do 100. It's not that hard and it doesn't burn that much. But when it comes to season time, you'll have perfect form and you'll be the best. Now make sure not to do this near anything fragile because if you break something, you won't be happy and your parents won't be happy with you. Yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's still a few more things that I have to tell you guys. One thing I should have told my past self is to get a haircut. That boy be looking like Chewbacca. Nah, but for real though, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button down there. It'll really help us. And I heard it turns blue. So maybe you want to try that out. Also, hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell so that you get notified every single time we make a new video. And like I said, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.